Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at this amazing tool called Bat. But before we do that, I want to show you something I didn't know it existed. I know that there is some modern alternatives for the Unix tools. And I use some of them like Bat that we're going to talk about. And also I use LSD and I use FD and Rip Grip. But I didn't know that there is a whole bunch of them. As you can see here in this GitHub repo, Modern Unix. So there's EXA, LSD, Delta, Dust, Duff, Beirut, FD, and lots of them, Rip Grip, and all of that. Okay, so now let's talk about BAT. It's a CAT clone with syntax highlighting and Git integration. This is the syntax highlighting, Git integration. It shows the modified lines and the added lines. It shows non-printable characters like spaces, tabs, and end of line. And let's see how can we install it. It exists in almost every official repo for most of the distros. So sudo apt install bat, pacman minus s bat, apk add bat, dnf install bat. So it exists in almost every official repo in most of the distros. It also exists on macOS and Windows. And you can, of course, build it from source. Okay, so now let's jump into our terminal. I'm sure you know how the standard cat works. It just prints out the content of a file to your terminal. So if I want to see, for example, the content of this Python file that exists in my home directory, I will just cat and pass the file name and it will print the content of the file starting from here. And this is the end. Okay, now let's see how bat will do it. Whoa, so we have our file name here, we have the size, we have line numbers, and we have some pretty syntax highlighting. And we can scroll down to the end of the file. It looks like it opened in a new program. Now, if we jump into our manual page for BAT, we can see all the options that we can do with it, like showing non-printable characters, showing plain style with no decoration, specifying the language explicitly, Highlight specific lines, change the file name that it's displayed, show differences if this file exists in a Git repo, set the tab width, wrap, set the terminal width, show line numbers, no other decorations, change color, specify when to use colored output, and also, you have the option to change the theme for the syntax highlighting. And of course, choose the version and show this help message. OK, so now let me show you the most useful options I use with bat. So if I do bat dash dash plain roman.py, this prints out the file without the line numbers and without the separator. So I can copy from it. but as you can see, it doesn't go. I can't copy the rest of the file because it works like it's a new program. So I have to do what either use cat to do that like this cat roman dot pi. Or I can use an option in bat like dash dash plane and then use the dash dash paging equal never roman.py so it prints out the content of the file and exits like this so now i can copy it i can go to wherever i want okay i use also the dash dash show all when i want to see my end of line characters my tabs and spaces also, I use the diff. This shows what I changed in a file when it exists in a GitHub repo or in a Git repo. Like this one, this is my ZSH aliases. As you can see, I modified this file. I modified I modified this line, sorry. And I modified this line and this line. So let's see what else. Of course, you can change the theme for the syntax highlighting like bad dash dash theme dash dash list themes you can see first what theme are available all these themes are available 
and then you can do bat dash dash theme equal and then remove the C. You press tab, you auto completion will get it. Okay, so that was all I know about bat until I found this mentioned in their GitHub bat extras, which is a bunch of scripts that integrate with bat, like bat grip, bat man, bat pipe, bat watch, bat diff, and pretty bat. So only the first one requires rig grip to be installed. Other than that, all the other scripts does not have any other requirements. So to install this, you need to get clone. You need to get clone this repo and then do the dot build dot sh. I did it with dot build dot sh dash dash install. So it installed it in my usr slash local slash bin. But I also found it here on the Arch repos. It already exists. So it exists in the community repo. So the first script we're going to take a look at is bad grip. So it searches through files and directories looking for matching regular expressions and print the output using bat. So these are all the options to ignore case, case sensitive, after context, before context, search for pattern and everything. It does not have all the options that rip grip has. So if we hop into our terminal. Let's say we want to rip grip value from roman.py. As you can see, it says that value exists in all these lines. But if I'm going to use bad grip value, it's going to print out the whole file and it's going to highlight the lines where value exists. So our next script will be Batman. This is actually my favorite. If you look here, yeah. it says read system manual pages man using bat as the manual page formatter. So if you hop into our terminal again, let's say we want to use man for rip grip. Okay, it's called RG. So as you can see, this is the manual page. Let me zoom out a little. This is the manual page. RG recursively searches for the current directory for lines matching a pattern and everything. It's not formatted. It's not highlighted. There's no colors. There's no, there's nothing. If we say Batman, rip grip, that's way, way better. The name, the options, the descriptions, syntax, and then the options again, the option is highlighted and then the description, the option is highlighted and then the description and everything. That's my favorite script. Now let's take a look at our next script, Batwatch. Okay, so watch for changes in files and commands or command output and print them with bat. Okay, so if we hop into our terminal, let's clear this. Now let's open another terminal. And then let's do bat watch roman.py. As you can see, it printed out the file, but it's waiting. Okay, so if we go to roman vim roman.py and we change this change this to let's see hello and write it see what will happen here it will get us the new change if we change this to hello world and write it hello world so this is what actually this script do. It also has some options like bad watch. No, it doesn't have an auto completion. So if we hop in here, we have the option to watch file for changes, change the interval. So the interval in which the program refreshes, we can change this. Now let's take a look at bad diff. It diff a file against the current git index or display the diff between two files. So if we hop into our terminal, let's say bad diff, and then the same file, zsh aliases, it will tell us 
we modified this line and this line and this line. Now we can also get the diff between two files, roman.py and integer to roman.py. So it says here the minuses are for roman.py and the pluses are for integer roman.py. So these are the one that exists in roman.py and these are the one that exists in integer.roman.py and integer to roman.py. So that's pretty useful. So our next script will be bad pipe, which is basically tells your terminal to open specific files with specific programs like directories, for example, with exa and ls and tar with tar, zip with unzip, gz with gunzip and xz with xz. And you can add an external viewers. And the next one will be pretty bad. The only thing better than syntax highlighting is syntax highlighting and code formatting. It uses these formatters to format your languages. So it outputs the content of the files, not only syntax highlighted, but only code formatted. So as you can see, BAT is a very amazing tool. I've been using it for a while. As you saw in my ZSH aliases, I have it already aliased to cat. So I also use some of uh, these i use lsd and i use fd i think i'm gonna keep reviewing and showing these tools and i'm gonna make this a series also so this takes us to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in the next one take care and goodbye